up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally gonna be showing you guys my studio apartment here in New York City. I had my apartment all set up exactly how I wanted it for a while now. So I was planning to make this video either the second or third week of moving here, but I've just been really busy and I just haven't had the time to show you guys around. In terms of rent, I am paying $2,350 a month to live here but I did get a few months for free and so my net effective rent isn't that expensive, but it still is really expensive because for that price, if you lived somewhere less expensive, you could get a really luxurious place to live and my place isn't that luxurious. It's just a normal apartment building. Like there's laundry in the basement, there's a doorman and there's an elevator. I'm not going to be showing you the view from my window because I do live alone and this is the internet and I'd rather not have where I'm living super easy to find just for safety reasons. Now for the rambling, I'm going to take you on a tour of my New York City apartment and make sure you are subscribed with the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss a video if you're notified. All right, let's go. So I'm standing by the front door and I'm gonna give you an overview first and then I'll go into everything in more detail. So my closet, some pictures, my bed, the window, my desk, the kitchen and the bathroom. All right, so this is the front door. Let's go back to the beginning. So first, when you walk in, you have the bathroom. If you walk straight to your right is the kitchen and then to the left is the living slash dining area. So first I have my trash can. This is a very small trash can like you would find in an office. And I wanted to get a bigger one, but I really don't think I need a bigger one. And then right next to that, I have a pair of ankle boots. I wear these so much, which is why they're separate from the rest of my shoes. But if you saw my video on how much money I spent in my first month living here in New York City, you know that I got a pair of black ankle boots and I actually returned those because I found a pair at Macy's that I liked even better and they didn't have my size. And so I ended up having to order them online, which is fine. So they should be coming in soon. So right next to that, I have a full length mirror on a dresser. So this full length mirror I got from Walmart. Hello. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing shorts right now because it's really hot in my apartment. I didn't want to put on long pants, so I'm wearing shorts. But yes, this full length mirror I got from Walmart. I think this was only $6, so it was super inexpensive. And then I put a water bottle in front of that that my dad got because this mirror for some reason always keeps slipping and I don't know how to get it like straight like that, like it just keeps slipping. I'm not sure. So I thought putting the water bottle in front of that would help it, but it's actually not. And then right here, this is actually a phone case covering that I got last week because I got a new phone case. And then I just put some of my most worn jewelry pieces. I usually have other jewelry on there, but I'm actually wearing one of the bracelets and the rings right now. And then I have one on this hand. Everything here is from Forever 21 or H&M, so it's not expensive jewelry by any means. And then I have this dresser right here that I also got from Walmart. I think this was $25. In the first two drawers, I just have some clothes and some hats, some socks, some tank tops, a bathing suit, things like that. And then in this third one, I just have some miscellaneous things. So I have some gum, I have some more jewelry from forever 21 i have some medicine some band-aids just random things and then here i have a hamper that doesn't have any dirty clothes in it right now and then right next to that like on the very side i have this blue bag that my mom gave me and i use this bag whenever i go grocery shopping or if i'm just going shopping in general because you do have to pay if you need a bag. And so if you bring your own bag, you don't have to pay for a bag. And then here I have two of my crossbody bags 
or they're the only two crossbody bags that I have. I've had these both for a few years now and I just hung them up on this thing. I don't even know what this is called, but yes, I have two crossbody bags right here. This red one back here is actually reversible, so you can turn it from red to black, so you can pick what color you want the bag to be depending on your outfit. And then coming over here to the living slash bedroom area, I have my closet right here. And then up there, it's like a storage place. I don't have anything up there. So in my closet, I just have all of my clothes here. I have some belts here, some scarves, and then everything in this bin is my flat shoes and then right next to that I have some flip flops and slippers. My parents offered to take this gray bin with them when I moved in so I wouldn't have this here but I decided to keep it because when I move out it's going to be a lot more convenient for me just to put everything in here so I don't have to get a new bin. And then up here I have a backpack, a notebook, and a tote bag some long sleeve shirts that I folded up there because I just needed more space to put them. And then all of my long pants. And then back there, I don't know if you can see, but I have some of my winter jackets and some lighter jackets. And then all the way in the back, I feel like you guys can't see. Oh, you can see it a little bit, but I have a suitcase it's a small suitcase so in case i need to go somewhere or if i'm going home i could just put all my stuff in there and pack it all up so yeah this is my closet and then all right i'm gonna close this door right here i have all of my shoes that have a heel and up here i have a really pretty spring wreath that i got from marshall's you guys probably have seen this hanging up in some of my other videos and then here is my bed this is actually an air mattress i didn't buy a mattress because i didn't find one that i liked so this air mattress my dad gave me because he bought this since we go camping a lot and so when i was moving here he gave me this air mattress I could sleep on. It's actually really comfortable for an air mattress. And so yeah, I have that. And then this is just a throw blanket that I got from Burlington. It's like really soft and it's like this gray with this floral white print on it. I like this a lot. And up here I have some four by six pictures. And this is just pictures from really good memories that I have in my life or just some photos of me that I thought looked really good. So going through this really quickly. So now we have this blank wall and I wanted to do something on this wall. Like I wanted to put up a decoration or something, but I didn't want to put a big statement piece here because I'm really afraid that it's going to fall. And since I do sleep with my head facing this way, I'm afraid it's going to fall on my head. So I haven't done anything, so maybe I can print out more pictures like I did right here and put it on this wall. Or I could just print out one really big picture and put it here. So here is the window. This is a really, really big window. Like it's so long and this curtain is from my parents' house. I was searching for a curtain, but I couldn't find one because I couldn't find one that's like this size. So right here is the heater and this heater for some reason just turns on and off randomly and I don't know how to fix that. So yeah, it's okay. And then down here, I have a printer that my dad brought for me. I have some printer paper and then I have a laptop case. And then this chair I got from Walmart before I moved here. And then this desk is also from Walmart. I 
saw some smaller desks at Walmart that I was going to get, but then I decided with the bigger one, and I'm so glad I got the bigger one because I have a lot of things on here, and if I got a smaller desk, I don't think I would be able to fit as many things. But on my desk, I have two meal mats that my mom got me, and then I have a notebook right here that my friend got for me from my 12th birthday. So I have had this notebook for 12 years. Um, and then right next to that, I have my laptop. This is a MacBook Air. I got this laptop when I was going off to college and it's still the laptop that I use. I have a mug right there that my brother gave me for Christmas last year and it's on top of these two wooden coasters. I have a plant right here that my mom's friend gave me since she knew that I was moving here and she's super into gardening and stuff so she gave me this plant. I have a cup right here with some Pens. If you saw my first day as a New Yorker video, you know that I got some gray cups for 50 cents, but I realized that those cups were way too tall. So I saw these shorter ones at Target. These were also only 50 cents. And so I decided to get the shorter black ones. So I got one for my desk, one for my utensils, and then one for my toothbrush and toothpaste. And then here, this is the box that my T-Mobile Wi-Fi router came in, but I decided to put this underneath my work laptop just to have everything a little bit higher. So this is my laptop for work, and then I have a monitor for work just so I can have two screens. And then next to that, I have a lamp, I have a charging dock for my phone, I have a mouse for work, and then this is my Wi-Fi router and then up here this is the blessed home decor that I bought down in North Carolina when my family and I were sending my sister to college back in August and so I decided to buy this. I could have bought this when I came back here but I thought that I wouldn't be able to find this again and so I bought this and then we carried this all the way back from North Carolina. This is just a power outlet with all my power cords plugged in. So here we have the kitchen. So I have a small refrigerator right here and I have some paper towels. These are the two gray cups that I got from Target that I didn't end up using. I have some boxes right there for food. I have two bowls here, a plastic container here, and then two plates in the back. Up there, I just have some potatoes because I love potatoes. And then here, I have some Nutri-Grain bars, some pasta, a bag of sour cream and onion chips, some wheat thins, two cartons of eggs, and oatmeal. And then I have my cooking utensils hanging from here because I, I don't know, I just thought it's more convenient that way. So here, this is another one of the black cups that I got with all my utensils there. So I have some forks, spoons, knives, and then this is the gray cup that I ended up using from when I bought this cup during my first day here. So I have two knives in there and then I have a cutting board right here that I got from Walmart before I moved here. I have some dish soap here and then a dish sponge there, the sink, and then down here I have some extra paper towels there. I have some trash bags, another backup dish sponge, some laundry pod detergent, and some wipes. And then this is the stove and oven. And I have a pan right here that I got so I could cook my own food and then a towel right here 
And then up here I have some onions, some canned soup, some salt, some cooking oil, and some soy sauce. And then we're gonna go to the bathroom. Behind this door, I have a bath towel and then a washcloth. I use this bath towel to wipe my hands whenever I wash my hands and also when I take a shower and then I use this washcloth whenever I'm washing my face just to dry my face because there's something about using my washcloth to wipe my hands that I'm super paranoid about. I like the towel that I use to wipe my face to only be used on my face. Well, it's not really wiping my face. It's more just dabbing my face because I don't want any premature wrinkles. So you can't rub your skin too hard. And then here is the toilet. And then I have some toilet paper right here. This bathroom doesn't have a toilet paper holder. So I just have to keep it on top of the toilet. I have conditioner, shampoo, soap. And then this is a bath bomb that my sister gave me. And I found it right before I filmed this video when I was cleaning my place. And so I decided to put this here because if I don't, I'll forget to use it like I did. There's the shower head. And this tub is really nice because it's like a full tub. There's a window right there that I just keep closed because I don't have a reason to open the window and there's some of that, I don't know what is this called, like it, you to put it on your window so that it's like blurry and you can't see in. So yeah, there's that on there and I haven't gotten a shower curtain yet because I'm not sure how to put it on. So for right now, I just take a shower without a shower curtain which isn't a big deal because I don't live with anyone. And then here is the sink. So I have some soap there. I have a face wash right here because it wouldn't fit in here. And then I have a cup with my toothbrush and toothpaste. And this is the sink. Down here, I just have some cleaning supplies, some more toilet paper, just stuff like that. And there's a mirror here. So in this mirror, I have three perfumes. This one is Pink Sugar. This one is one by Dior that my mom gave me. And then this is Pure DKNY, which this perfume smells so good. I love it so much. And then I have some nail polishes here. There's two by Paparazzi that I got when I was in college that I just haven't used up. So I decided to bring these with me. These two are by Sally Hansen that my sister gave me for my birthday. And then these, how many are there? Like five. These five are all by OPI. This is a aloe vera face wash that I got and I'm almost done with it. So once I run out of that one, I'm gonna be using this one. And then I have my three proactive products right here. I have a Shishido Day Cream. My mom loves this day cream so much. She uses it religiously. And so I decided to use it too. I have some nail polish remover right there. I have my retainer and retainer case. I have some floss and more floss here. And then in here, I just have a brush, some makeup, some just smaller items that I have in this makeup bag. So yeah, this is everything in there. So yeah, that is everything that I have at my apartment. It's not a big place, but I think it's enough space for just me. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my studio apartment here in New York City. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed with the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss a video if you're notified and I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.